BMW 1250 GS Adventure 12,000 mile service. You got your spark plugs, engine oil, filter, crush washer, driveline oil, drain plug and fill plug washers. The bike is a year old so it does need the brake fluid front and rear reservoirs drained and replaced and you have your engine air filter. There are your tools required. Torque wrench, socket, the screwdriver with the plastic device there that opens the filler cap. You are going to need a ODB port to connect to your uh, motorcycle and this can be the GS911 which means you need a computer, laptop, and also have my handy dandy air pump there to pump the tires up to spec while we got the bike cold. First thing I'm going to do is the engine air filter. BMW group. And looks like pretty nice quality filter there. See how this goes. pick this up I don't want it falling in and I'm gonna actually grab a vacuum and clean that out so the total process to get here 12 minutes but you can see how there's a little bit of dirt on the edges there you don't want to get that down in the air intake so I'm gonna clean that real carefully real quick with a vacuum and there you can see the difference between 12,000 miles on your engineer filter and a brand new one and there is that little safety protector to go around it. Engine air filter done. Pretty simple install. Two, four, six, seven bolts outside, four bolts inside. Pretty simple, there's your OEM BMW air filter up next. Oil change, BMW OEM oil, and filter crush washer. Uh, I'm gonna get started on that right now. Oil change complete, BMW OEM motor oil, 4 liters, OEM filter, and what we're going to do now is start it up and just let it run for like 60 seconds, get the oil in the filter, make sure there's no leaks, there we go, service overdue, show you how to change that light later. filter soak up oil 
but let it sit for about 60 seconds or a minute here make sure there's no oil on the ground and then you can also see the um, sight glass filling up there and it should be just underneath that top line if you give it five minutes after you change the oil it'll be just under that top line so oil change complete one thing I forgot to mention, you do need to put the skid plate back on, but I'm letting the bike chill for 60 seconds, make sure there's no oil leaks, and make sure the oil's proper, and the good way to make sure it's not leaking is put the skid plate under it, and you should see it. So, there you go, skid plate, last thing to do to complete the oil change. Engine air filter installed, oil filter, oil change complete. Spark plugs are next on your 12,000 mile service. Spark plug install done on one side. It's actually really, really easy. Watch any YouTube video on how to do it. Take this off, there's a clip. Take the clip off, pull the cover off, take the spark plug out. To get the cover off, I use this tool. They do make a specific tool, but I reached all the way around the sensor, got on it, and was able to just pull it out enough to get the rubber loose, and then you can pull it off. But that's what your spark plug looks like after 12,000 miles. Not very good compared to a new one. Spark plugs are installed and we're just gonna fire up the motor and make sure it's running right. You got your oil change and spark plug. All we got left to do is install new brake fluid. BMW asks that you put new brake fluid in one year after the vehicle was made. This is a 22, but it is one year old in June, so it's about a month or two overdue. And there you go. You got your final drive oil. One of the coolest things about this bike is that shaft drive. You only have to change the gear oil every 12,000 miles on that single swing arm rear shaft drive. Versus a chain bike where you got to do it like every day. So knock those two things out and reset the computer take it to Missoula BMW for a valve clearance check and we are done with this 12,000 One of the things about working on BMW is they just really want to make it hard for you to do certain kind of things. Some things are really easy, but that service over dew light is really annoying. And um, you literally can't reset it unless you get yourself one of these tools to log into the ODB uh, or the onboard computer of the bike. I got the cheapest version you can possibly get where it connects via a cord to a laptop computer and they have wireless ones they also have apple um, i chose a windows based system with a cord usb cord so uh let's see where do i go here onboard computer trip computer tire pressure service due we are negative 165 miles Due date May of 2024, so we are going to change that real quick here. So we'll go over to our computer and we hit detected vehicle. 
service reminder, service reminder functions, reset service reminder. And so we're going to hit continue, reset service mile, 365 days, 6,000 miles, we'll hit OK there. And it looks like we've been updated to August 7th, 2024, 18,886 miles. And if you go over to your service requirements, due date, a year from now, distance remaining 6213, 6,000 miles. It's a little off for some reason. I'm not sure why it went to 6,200 instead of 6,000, but I'm just going at the 6,000 mile increments after that 600 mile service. Connect your GS911, 400 bucks for that. But it allows you to read your bike. You can also get service codes and things like that. If you do an auto scan, it'll scan your vehicle here and it'll give you a report and tell you what is good or bad with your bike. I just did, there are zero fault codes on the bike, 12,000 miles, hopefully you shouldn't have any, but there you go, that is how you reset your service light. And if I go back to here and start it, the air light error is already gone off the dashboard. Okay, I got the rear brake bled new fluid put in the back what i did was pretty simple i just put the top off open the bleeder valve on the back right here and i connected it to this plastic hose and pumped the brake while pouring fluid in the reservoir and it pushed all the fluid through the system got clean fluid through there no air bubbles easiest way to do it all I'm waiting for is a turkey baster or something to fill up the driveline fluid right there. It's kind of a horrible angle. Other than that, just about done with this 12,000 mile service minus the um, valve clearance check. But draining the brake fluid pretty easy. Just connect a tube to the breeder valve. You got two master cylinders, one right there and one right there to fill up. And there you go. That pretty much wraps up. I'll give a Final wrap up, just a minute. Twelve thousand mile service complete on the twenty twenty two twelve fifty GS.